Hey yo, what's up man? Joe Cracker here, ready to crack size. This you might have read uh, on the uh, True Light of Courage uh, blog that uh, Robert couldn't make it, uh, he's using my name. I can't stand uh, plagiarism. I hate it. I hate plagiarism. Cause, uh, what's the deal? Somebody uh, comes up, uh, somebody uh, writes uh, one of your rhymes, and then uh, they take it and use it as one of your own. Isn't that weird? It happens all the time at Washington Street. At four o'clock, all the time at the turnaround, I go and I do my rhymes, man, and somebody steals it from me. I don't know who does it. I think it's because of my kid brother. My kid brother is always tossing out my rhymes, man. Also, uh, I'm here on uh, business. Uh, I'm uh, got my green here, as uh, you can see here. Show my love for you uh, players out there for what this is all about. What you guys all came for. The Link Man himself. <laughs> so, uh, right now I'm here to promote this uh, thing uh, that uh, Rob's been trying to uh, get donations for. You see, uh, this thing here. This paper here. It ain't a script, it's just this uh, list of uh, 16 items here, this uh, about, it's titled, Why NES ROM Maker Should Be Supported. The NES ROM Maker, that's short for the Nintendo Entertainment System. That's old school, man. Old school. Okay. Here's what it is. Here's what we got here now. Okay. I think it just found some more weed. Hopefully no one ain't growing weed around here because uh, they see me, they think weed. Okay, here it is. Right now, number one. Okay, here's uh, number one with the uh, NES ROM maker. It is not designed to hack into existing ROMs. That means uh, that means that uh, ROMs that have been copied uh, from uh, their original carts and are available to download, like MP3s off the CDs, like uh, one of mine uh, that might be out someday, will. Uh, not be hacked into that means uh, you won't be hearing a uh, means like for example you won't be hearing a uh, Eminem uh, giving out recipes for uh, for a blueberry muffins or something like that it's not designed to do that and uh, number two it will end the industry wide stigma that uh, PC, Mac, and uh, console ran emulators are uh, just used for piracy. Yeah, that was the thing uh, when uh, they sued uh, Napster. Uh, it was uh, piracy, man. That's all it was. And uh, and these uh, emulators are uh, the ROMs are just uh, out there. They're just uh, raw data from these uh, old uh, old carts, man. They're even listed on the uh, as uh, from the twenty from the uh, old Atari twenty six hundred man. Oh, that is really really old school man. And uh, it's supposed to end the uh, industry wide stigma that uh, emulators that are made by these hobbyists will uh, will not just uh, are not just for piracy. That they're legit. They're perfectly legit. Like, uh, like saying, like, thug life. And, uh, you can say that you're a thug, but, uh, that doesn't mean you, uh, go into, uh, liquor stores and, uh, say, GIVE ME THE MONEY, SHIT! 
And, uh, okay, let's see. Uh, let's, uh, number three. New ROMs as, uh, fan games based on popular characters can be distributed freely with no need of copyright. Just credit yourself for making the game. Something's left out of that, man. Uh, okay. If you're gonna make something like a Grand Theft Auto, uh, game on the NES, uh, and, uh, you're gonna credit yourself for making the game, at least credit Rockstar for, uh, creating the thing, man. Because, uh, I'll tell you, man, them Grand Theft Auto games, man, if it wasn't for Grand Theft Auto, man, there'd be more people out there. There'd be more people out there stealing cars and beating up hoes. I swear, man. I swear, man, it'd be all over Washington Street, man. It wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be just in Liberty City. It'd be in Washington Street, USA. My home. Okay. Okay, this uh, number four. All free ROMs made with this software will be tagged when you start an emulator saying that it was compiled on NES ROM Maker. That means that uh, if the ROM was made with the NES ROM Maker, that means it's going to say it was made with the NES ROM Maker. That means saying that you can't uh, shave uh, the serial numbers off of a gun like some uh, like someone says uh, you shave uh, the serial numbers off of a nine so it can't be traced to you cuz let me tell you something you gangsters and I ain't talking about uh you uh, guys out there man I mean uh, real gangsters you guys like to shoot people you shave off the serial numbers of your uh, guns uh, so the police don't find you? So they can't track you? They'll find you. And they'll get you. And your hands will be like this. It'll be like, that ain't my gun, man. Okay. Number five. It will be simple as drawing a picture. A fan game made by one person while well, a game meant for profit can be made by a team of people just like always. That means uh, a fan game, uh, like I said, uh, a Grand Theft Auto can be just made by one person. While uh, just like uh, in the industry, uh, it takes uh, more than one person to make a, a game. Because uh, it's art, man. It's a game. Okay.